Indicators are objectively verifiable and repeatable measures. Anybody should be able to agree on the value of an indicator at all times. Let's take a look at an example of an indicator. While there is no single standard how an indicator should be written down, this example shows an effective and concise way to do that. We see that this indicator consists of six elements. A description of the indicator, the number of print media reports on gender-based violence per month, an indicator baseline and the date this data was collected, the baseline is the status of the indicator at the beginning of a program or project and acts as a reference point against which progress or achievements can be assessed. Further, an indicator target. This is the desired status of the indicator at a defined time in the future. The source describes where the data for the indicator is coming from. The source is sometimes also called means of verification. The frequency defines how often the status for the indicator is updated over time. And responsibility refers to who is in charge of collecting the indicator data, if it is primary data, or who will retrieve the data in case of secondary data. A complete indicator must include at least these six elements. 